proposed multi-million dollar settlement with the National Association of Realtors is getting Lowcountry real estate agents talking about how it's going to impact their businesses. Anna Harris talked with some of them today and joins us live to tell us more. Anna, what kind of changes are they expecting? Well, Ralph, it's not going to change so much for the average real estate agent and how they go about doing business, but what will change is how a home buyer goes about getting representation if they want to get some or when the next time they buy their home. Now, this is because if they choose to get an agent, they will cost more in commission fees than it did before. One low country agent tells me the buyer's agent typically gets most, if not all, their commission percentage from the seller. If this settlement goes through, it might end that. So if the buyer wants their own agent, they might need to pay more in those commission fees because the multiple listing service, the main database agents use to look for and list properties on, will no longer be allowed to show how much an agent would get paid for the sale. Now this would definitely increase buyer and listing agents communication during those transactions. But some fear for those who don't feel comfortable buying without their own agent and don't have the means to pay for these added costs. It's a big concern. Uh, first time home buyers and possibly home buyers who do not have uh, money up front to pay, pay for buyer's representation. Uh, it's a big concern that this may make it so that they don't use representation, which is never a good thing when you're purchasing the largest purchase of your life, a home. Uh, you want someone there helping you, making sure and giving you knowledge to do that correctly. The National Association of Realtors has already settled $418 million to settle sellers in a lawsuit. Now, we might not see these direct impacts just yet because it still has to go in front of a judge, and we might not get that until July. Reporting live in Charleston, Anna Harris, Live 5 News.